Hello friends, my name is Adi. Today I am going to share with you a video on searching, creating a Power Apps that searches SharePoint document library or list uh, multi-column choice, choice field. Let's get started. First thing I will show you I have created a SharePoint site with a document library and uploaded this is my document library. I have a couple of uh, metadata columns say library and region. If we look into the settings, we are going to search this column library. This is nothing but a choice column and I am setting it as checkbox allow multiple selections. So this is the list we are going to use. Let us get started building our power app. So I am going to power app uh, browser environment click on new app i'm going to do this as a canvas app so to be to have more space i am choosing the layout as tablet layout so at this point we just got a blank canvas so what I'm going to do is first uh, we are going to have a combo box where users can select a library which they are going to search. So for that click on the insert tab then go to input. Here I'm choosing the combo box. Okay, here it is asking for uh, data source. So let me do the data source before coming here. So for data source, click on this cylinder data. So I'm going to connect. I am going to connect my connection is SharePoint. So this is my username and uh, as I previously connected, it is coming up in the history. So I'm choosing this one. So in this documents is my data source. So connect. We are ready. Now, let us come back to this combo box. I am going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to rename this column as uh, I follow the conversion CB for combo box. Then my related column name is library. Okay, for this I am going to provide items now. So the items is going to be is just nothing but I can see choices because this is a choice field coming from documents then I need to say what it is library just uh, this should do okay at this point let us run and see whether we are getting the call I am getting the this thing now before we do anything let us save this save as I am going to give a meaningful name 
power up I'm going to give a name SharePoint multi sorry multi column search So done. Now I'm going to add a button. Uh, with that button, we are going to search the library. So I added the button. So this button, I'm going to rename this as uh, PTN select to go with the convention and the text. Let's put this as search okay when the user so what we got this for is we established connection to sharepoint added this combo box and populating the combo box with the uh, list of choices the user can select now when they click on search button I'm going to create two collections. First, let me drop in some code. Then we will, I will walk you through the process, what we are doing here. So as I said here, what I'm doing is I am creating a one library for collection library. Other one is called the collection documents this collection documents will straight away go into my uh, this will be showing at uh, with a grid so here what happens for all i'm choosing the selected items this is this is my combo box cb library then I'm iterating through all the items because uh, the choice field in SharePoint is a complex field. It is, uh, I've tried a lot of uh, many other ways uh, with some of the documents, but nothing work. But uh, using this way, you know, here what I'm doing, I'm picking one item at a time from the combo box then I search whether that item is in the library. This is this column. It is this column. Say take for, for example, these are these things. So I am just adding, picking all the IDs of the documents. In SharePoint library, there is a column called ID that is a numeric column. At this point, I just need to pick only those IDs which are uh, found in the user's interest. So then after that, I am building the collection. This is the collection of documents. Here uh, I filter, then here I check if uh, the user has selected any items in the library. If it is less than one means nothing is selected. So return all the documents. If the user has selected, then I have already gathered uh, which all documents this uh, the selected library is present. So I'm checking using the in class to do that. That's all to this code. So when we run this code, So I am finding, see RFE content, if I do search, we don't know anything at this point. So, but uh, what I think is we can experiment the collections that we created. So what I did was from here, I am in the designer window 
to go to that go to uh, to examine the collections you need to click on the file tab then go to collections well here you see the list of collections so we are getting these things here so now what i am going to do is so first let us uh, find how many documents we found as a sample so what i'm going to do is i'm dropping a label and i don't care about uh, label name and this okay otherwise let's put that here be yeah count so the text i'm going to do number of documents found So here I have a function count rows. This function will return the number of rows. So my collection is collection documents. So let's make it. So I'm going to bump up the font size, say 15, and font also. Let's make it bold. So we are getting it. Now let us run and see. So search. Okay, let us add. Okay, that means uh, we are getting the collection. So to examine what we got, so I'm going to drop in a um, insert a gallery now. So this is. So let me. So it is asking for the data source. My data source is this collection documents that we built so far. So select that. And before doing anything with me, move this little bit down. So let's make it closer. And okay. So I am going to. I'm not. I'm ignoring the image and all at this point. So what I'm going to bind to this is this. I'm going to this text box. There is a name column in my document library. So I'm going to bind that. Cool. And this column, I want to show the library name. To do that, this is a bit tricky since this is being a choice column. So I'm going to use this concat function. And so this is my field. Then the value is called value in that field to get the value in a choice box. Then I want to separate with commas each of this so now you see we are good we are getting what we want so let us go and save this once so i'm going to give you a version note say added gallery So going back, so if we run the code now, okay. So I'm going to clear everything. So yes, it is returning all the documents. Suppose I'm going only RFP. So it says two. Let's examine the this is my library so in the library 
I can do filter so if I see filter by see I have chosen now sales and marketing so apply okay that seem to match flyer 0.5 flyer 0.5 there are two rows so now let us go and add see RFP content also now there are four So let's go and choose here also in the filter RFP content apply four cool we got uh, we achieved what we tried to accomplish in this video so hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i hope to see you in a future video thanks bye